Hey everyone, welcome to this webinar on boosting your strategic planning and OKR tracking with ClickUp 3.0. I'm your host, Elliot. I'm a member of the Solutions Org here at ClickUp. And there are a couple things I wanted to go through before we get started. First off, we are here answering questions in the Q&A, so feel free to ask your questions in the Q&A box. We've also got a live chat going, so if you want to talk to other members of the audience or react with an emoji to something you like or love, please feel free to do so in the chat. And finally, we are going to be sticking around for an extra five minutes after the presentation to answer any additional questions that you may have. So I'm going to go ahead and turn things over to my teammate, Patrick, who's going to teach you all about OKRs in ClickUp 3.0. Thanks, Patrick. Welcome to this 3.0 Spotlight on Strategic Planning with ClickUp. My name is Patrick Wise. I'm a solutions engineer here at ClickUp, and today I'm gonna to walk you through how you can boost strategic planning and OKR tracking with ClickUp 3.0. Let's take a look at some of the things we're going to cover. First, we'll talk about OKR planning. We'll move on to managing OKRs, and then how to link your work back to OKRs to keep track of those other details that are connected to them. And lastly, we'll round this off by taking a look at how you can track progress across your OKRs throughout the year. So let's jump right in. I'm going to start here at a high level by clicking on the OKRs folder, and I want to talk to you about our new overviews function. So notice here, we're in this OKRs folder, and we're currently looking at an overview of all the details inside this folder. These details are comprised of resources, pinned docs, recently accessed tasks, and views, and lastly, a portfolio view of everything that's in this folder, including all the lists and what current status they're in, as well as progress toward completion. You can also visualize the start and end date of all these different lists, and you can give lists an owner here. There's a, a number of other fields that you would be able to bring into this portfolio card here uh, in the overview section. So if you want to customize this for your own needs, you can do that as well. Also, if you're new to ClickUp, overviews make it easy for new users to understand how spaces and folders are structured. You would be able to easily attach resources and documents using the resources card right here by clicking on the add a file button and choosing from a number of options for attaching documents to your folder. So let's check out how we use docs for OKR planning. First thing we're going to do is go to our OKR planning list and take a look at our OKR planning doc. This doc is comprised of some best practices to define what are OKRs and how your organization goes through the process of defining them, planning them out, and then actioning against them. This doc also includes some subpages that are planning and alignment overviews where you will retrospectively look back at a previous quarter as well as plan out the upcoming quarter within this doc. On a quarterly basis, you'll go in and duplicate this subpage and then change the details to align with the, the next quarter's planning period. In ClickUp, docs are not just about documentation. As you can see here, many of this text can be turned into tasks right from within the doc. In addition to that, you can link tasks from any location right here in this docket. So you could simply highlight text and turn it into a task, assign the appropriate people, set the timeline for the task, even estimate time right from within the stock. Okay, so let's take a look at how you can use list view to plan your activities uh, for OKRs. So this is the list where you would develop the OKRs, you would plan on how to roll those OKRs out across your team. You can set up a recurring meeting for monthly check-ins and then have a quarterly retrospective as we were just discussing in uh, in that example for the doc. This is also where you would, of course, assign all of your OKR activities uh, as you figure them out and plan out the OKRs on a quarterly basis. By using ClickUp for OKRs, you won't just be able to keep track of goals, strategy, and long-term planning, but you'll be able to see how those goals translate to actual work and the progress that is made on that work throughout the year. I'm going to show you now how you would be able to structure OKRs and click up where you have objectives and key targets. And we're going to take a look at that now in the actual calendar year 2023 list of all the OKRs that we're doing for calendar year 23. 
So as you can see, these OKRs have been defined and they are currently grouped by the quarter. If you click on one of these objectives, you'll notice that a sidebar opens up, which allows you to access details about the objective right from within this list view. Notice here that you can use the task description to provide updates about the OKR itself, including weekly updates, success metrics that we're tracking against, current action steps that need to be taken, and the overall purpose of the objective are all defined here in the task description for you. Custom fields are so much more than data points, giving you access to specialized control and additional functionality in ClickUp. I want to talk to you a little bit about the, the impact of using custom fields in unique ways to organize the data that you're looking at on screen through a simple process of changing how this data is grouped. I wanted you to take a look at the initiative custom field here, where several key initiatives have been outlined as values in a label field. And so now we can go in and group by that custom field called initiative. And you will see how with just a couple clicks of a button, we've now reorganized our data to be grouped by those initiatives. And this allows you to sort of align what objectives are currently tracking against those company-wide initiatives. Let's talk a little bit now about how you can link your work back to OKRs through relationships, and you can use rollups within those relationships to give your work even additional meaning from there. To demonstrate how relationships can tie your OKRs back to other work you're doing, I'm going to click on one of our objectives and outline a couple of different tasks that have been related to this work. First things first, you'll notice here that we have a relationship custom field called related projects. This is where you would be able to add related projects to a list of tasks, and you can roll up additional details about those tasks here as well. This makes it easy to access the tasks that are related to this objective, but also allows you to at a glance see key details about the work, like what status it's currently in, when it's currently set to be finished, and who the assignee is, among many other fields that you'd be able to choose from here as part of your rollups. So you can see using rollup fields in ClickUp and relationships is super easy to do, and anyone would be able to come in and relate any piece of work back to this objective, as long as it's connected in a meaningful way. Another way to visualize your relationships in ClickUp is to have that same custom field, the related projects field, added to your list view as a column. You'll notice here, if you go and click on this related projects field, it brings up another screen, which allows you to see all the related projects and any rollups that you've added to them as well. You can also manage the, the rollup field from this location. Now that we've had our OKR set up, let me show you how we track OKRs using different views. You can see the work the way you need to see it in order to deliver on specific aspects that are important to you within ClickUp for you or your team. Board view is a perfect if your teams like Kanban style board views that allow them to quickly visualize the status of their objectives. So let's take a look at our progress board currently. Once here, if we want to add swim lanes to better visualize who's responsible, or maybe we want to see across more than one quarter, we can do that within this group menu. So you'd be able to turn on swim lanes and then add a signee as a potential swim lane here. You can easily drag and drop to change status, or if you want to change the grouping, you can easily update things like assignee or custom fields this way as well. So notice here, if one of our objectives that is currently on track becomes delayed or off track or becomes at risk, we could simply grab that card, drag it over to the appropriate column, and now we've changed the status of that objective. In addition to that, you can do the same functionality across any of the other group by options. So if you wanted to change it to be grouped by assignee, we could easily reassign these cards or assign unassigned ones to the appropriate people by dragging them around. All with a few clicks of the button, you're able to really make a big changes to the work that you're doing and visualize progress across the board. Let's take a look at another view 
that is super powerful for visualizing start dates, due dates, and you can also see when a task is a milestone and any dependencies. In ClickUp, that is best visualized in the Gantt view. Notice here this yellow diamond-shaped icon on this task card. That is indicating that this task is a milestone task and something that's critical to the completion of this objective. Creating dependencies is super easy from this Gantt view. You're also able to create and manage dependencies from a list view, but in Gantt view, you could easily drag and drop to create the dependencies and then visualize them in a, on screen in an easy to understand way. So now just by dragging and dropping, we've created a blocking dependency between these two tasks where this encourage customer loyalty objective is waiting on this launch a customer rewards program key target to be completed before it can be completed. Finally, one of the lesser talked about features of the Gantt view is the ability to recolor your task. And I want to talk a little bit about the options there as well. So we're going to go into the, our Gantt options and choose color our tasks by. And I want to show you here that you can color your task by priority, status, or which list they're in. The list colors, as you saw in the overview, can have meaning and be defined. A list that's red, for example, might be something that is currently in a blocked status or delayed for some reason. But the most popular uh, choice here is status. And if your status colors have meaning, you could easily at a glance be able to understand what current status any given task card is in just by looking at the color of them. So, Tasks that are yellow are currently at risk. Tasks that are gray have not been started. And so these could be clear indications of where we are in terms of overall progress against our objectives. The last thing I want to talk to you about is a weekly updates activity view. So I'm going to navigate us to the OKRs folder and take a look at an activity view that's set up to view comments. When your team is providing weekly updates, the best practice is for them to use task comments, and that way you can capture this detail in an activity view at the folder level, showing you details about activities happening across every list within that folder across all those tasks. With activity view, you can filter for comments, so you'll be able to quickly and easily find the latest updates against your objectives and key targets that you're looking at. So that's it for our overview of ClickUp 3.0 and objectives and key results management planning, and distribution. I hope this has been helpful. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to your ClickUp team always. We're always here for you. Hey everyone, Elliot again. Thanks so much, Patrick, for that amazing presentation. As a reminder, the Q&A is gonna stay open for an additional five or so minutes. So if you have any additional questions, feel free to stick around and ask those questions through the Q&A. Also, just wanted to mention that the session was recorded and we will be providing a copy of the recording to you along with additional resources. I'm now gonna go ahead and jump back to the Q&A to continue to answer any questions that come through, but I just wanted to say thanks again for joining.